Well, everyone, this is uh, Charlie Sixulu back again with another episode of SOTOR. Uh, sadly, uh, armor's running a bit late. Decided to get started. We'll jump on the class mission in a bit. We might as well just grab the story mission down. Get this through. Hopefully Armored will be on by then. He said four. We're about ten minutes after that right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sadly I don't have all day. Pity. But let's get started. I'm sure nothing big will happen. Not like there's a big story beat. Pop in, pop in. I have to run a bit more healing now. <laughs> That's weird. Just significantly better in every way. Actually, what does this suit look like? Does it look good? Oh, uh, no. Because it keeps showing up the Sith uh, looking one, it switches to Jedi. Now, let me get this popped. Everyone target me. There we go, that's down to 12 men. Scourge almost died. Alright. I'm not a very good tank. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Up the uh, elevator. Alright. Right down. Ah! Nope, never going to be ready to hear them scourge, sadly. Boop. Ooh. Gabe really is running late. Hey, do you see it? I did not expect to be on the ship immediately, I'll be honest with you. Uh, hmm. Interesting. I, uh... <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. You know, I was expecting, like, you know, one to two more... Ooh, there are boys in here. You know, one to two more layers, maybe, like, you know, a charge towards the dock. No, it's just immediate. You need to target me. The hell did they just ignore my chart? I think you could just they she just ignored my taunt. That is interesting. I also don't know what happened with them. Uh interesting. And I am peeking for whatever reason. And I shouldn't be. Yeah, keep getting going. 
Well, I have a question for you guys. Uh, for the uh, few that do watch this, uh, especially near the early parts of it, if you've played this game before, which side do you prefer? Do you f prefer being a pub or an imp? Oops. Feel like people are going to pop out of that side door. Or right. yeah, people over here. Nope, you focus me. No, how dare you. How dare you. I definitely haven't started recording. Because uh, I'm definitely not going to be uh, fighting for freedom. Uh, trying to get into a server starting at 5. Which will mean it takes an hour. <laughs> Wait, in Sotor? No, in Helldivers. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I started recording. Oh. Yeah. Uh, cause yeah, I threw back Tom's. Nah, I haven't started much. Uh, just six minutes in. Okay. I forgot that when you go into the story mission, like you go up an elevator and you're immediately in a fucking cruiser, if in the the battleship. It's really fast. I was like, man, that was a change of interiors. <laughs> Wait, for what? In Hell Divers? No, 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 in here. I'm not playing Helldivers right now. Oh. So, in the mission where uh, we're, uh, we're doing the battle cruiser, uh, the Eclipse Engine Room, uh, where Braga is, you enter through like the first floor of a building, and the elevator leads directly into the ship. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Now. Sorry, Just, I was a little lost yeah. there for a moment. You're good. Many things talking about. Listen, despite my stim addiction in both games, I've I've learned from the stim companies themselves they're non they're non uh, addictive, so it's fine. Don't mind that I called it an addiction. That's what they have to say they have to call it for the official records. <laughs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Besides, playing solo right now in Sotor is actually pretty good for me because it's teaching me how to be a tank for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we just kill everyone immediately, normally. I don't have to worry about being a tank. Oop, we. Yeah, we. Listen, listen. I may only be con be contributing 10%, but that is still 10%. That's fair. Like, my main thing is just to jump in and get them all to punch me. <laughs> hmm. Oh. And then they die too fast before they uh, the taunt breaks off, so I don't have to focus on multiple taunts. Oh no, I can't disable the force field. It's over. Well, time to go home. Just, you know, just leave. Never go back. I actually don't know how to... I don't remember how to disable the force field. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, da -da 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 disable the force field generator. Oh. Probably somewhere over here. There you are. Oh. Yes, hello. Uh, I have to rebind shit. I hate going up at levels where I actually have more abilities than I have on bars. Oh, yeah. Well, never. 
Oh, let's yeah, there's see. the actual okay, there question. Mutual assured destruction. Okay, yeah, we're mad. We are mad. Oh, mad. Don't get mad. Don't drive mad. <laughs> Don't drive mad. It's my favorite acronym, to be honest. I mean, it makes sense. I know, that's why it's you such gotta, a great you gotta acronym. Be pretty pissed to go. You gotta be pretty pissed at whoever it is to say, I don't care that I die, I'm taking you with well, me. Well, not only pissed, but also crazy, so you have to be yeah. mad. Yeah. It's my favorite abbreviation because it works so well. Oh! It, uh, it does. Also, because it was Valentine's Day recently, did you take a look at the, uh, the cartel market? One of the uh, items on there is a great armor set. I mean, it's a great color set. I've never seen something better. They really oh, love God. their metallics. What is this? Uh, metallic red and metallic pink. Oh, let's see how that looks. I don't know why they've been getting like someone's discovered the 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 meta like the gloss filter and it's just making everything yeah. metallic. Making yeah, everything uh what was it back then? Oh, leather. <laughs> just it's everything's leather. <laughs> yeah, I kind of noticed that as well that everything is suddenly metallic. <laughs> Someone's discovered the gloss feature. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Oh wait. Oh god, he named his ship the Eclipse. Oh. Yeah. Fucking Palpatine wannabe. Oh gosh. And you're right, considering that this is, like, one of the more elite, uh, that, like, this is entirely de on the Emperor's plan and agenda to destroy most of Corellia, this really isn't that much of a thing to breach. No. No, like, there's literally an elevator that's somehow uh, that, that directly attached to the ship. <laughs> well, not just that, but it pretty, pretty much is, for the reference to the size of the ship, it's pretty much right next to the reactor. Yeah, like, this is supposed to be... I want you to remember, this is supposed to be a cruiser. Yeah. All right, it's well... an arrower, I think. Yes. Yeah, so these, these ships are massive. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate, but you won't win. There was a ray shield... Oh, that, the, the shield that I was running around. Corellia must die. Only then can this ruined galaxy be redeemed. The Emperor has filled your head with lies. Death is not redemption. You know better. There is no redemption through peace. The Emperor showed me the truth. This galaxy isn't worth saving. Every being, every creature is weak and useless. All except him. I mean, he's not wrong. Strong, perfect. I mean... Transcending both Sith and Jedi. He will cleanse the stars of our impurity. I mean, technically? <laughs> I thought the Emperor was controlling your mind, but you want to do this. The Emperor's thoughts were with me for a long time, but I broke free. And when I did, my eyes were open. I have seen such horrors that these things are allowed to exist. It has to end. Oh no, bad hey. thing happened, therefore everyone wow. have to die. Yeah. Oh no, oh, no. The orphanage burned down once. Guess I'm gonna have to burn the rest of them down. Great logic there, Master Brock. <laughs> I just like the fact that I'm, I just like the idea that I'm sitting in the back corner like the peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah. Great logic! Don't worry, you've got this, buddy. Yeah, I, I can do it. I believe in Sure. Ow. Fuck you. I got it. Kill shot at me. I did it. <laughs> you did all the work. Yep, I killed him. General Varsutra, I've shut down the cruiser's reactors. I repeat, the battle cruiser is under control. I did? Control. Did they not have any security? All I did was push a button that was really easy. Yeah. That is some fucking composure. <laughs> Do you really think you I feel like I remember he usually dies in that cutscene. If you don't do it right, he does. No one is saved. Maybe I've just never done it right. Nothing I do matters. 
Oh god, he's got all nihilistic. Every choice matters. You chose to become Sith, and people suffered because of it. I wanted it all to end. No Sith. No Jedi. No war. I remember another god, group who wanted this. God, he's emo now. now. Yeah. The Emperor is patient. He will try again and again. Crawling in my skin. We will <laughs> never be safe until he is dead. The Emperor is on Droman Cass. Did no shit, Sherlock. Go to him. You will see how pointless our struggles oh, What's that? Been. The Emperor is on the Imperial Everything Capital world? Oh, wow. <laughs> There's no retreat who, from that. Who could have possibly you seen that one coming? Destinies. They are rarely what you expect. Mm, I think I've heard that line somewhere before. Maybe in the prequels. <laughs> <laughs> Even in his weakened state, you are no match for him. Tired of this horrible existence. Wow. My life has been a failure. End it. Okay. Some failures are beyond redemption. Goodbye, Master Praga. Gosh, he drew his lightsaber. He was ready to go. Yeah. Good riddance. I hope the Emperor felt that. No, I don't know, maybe. Man, I feel like I'm not the best Leaving. Jedi. <laughs> what? I've I've what I've, the, I've killed a bunch of people. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. What are you talking about? Jedi do that all the time. You're They're right. One of the most genocidal cults in the galaxy. <laughs> You're right. Based off my completely arbitrary number of decisions, I actually am still light. <laughs> You know, I've never gone full light side. <laughs> like, I've never got, like, a five on anything. Or, like, five or six. I think I did it. I think I did it once for each, because I think it gives you something. I know it gives you something, but I've never gotten it. <laughs> I don't remember. I think I've done the full light side one. I don't remember if I've done the full dark side one. I mean, for dar full dark side, you just go fucking, uh... Trooper, and you go full genocide machine. Yeah, start, start, the, start the doom music. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Now, nah, but uh, if I'm not, that, that's how you, that's how you play Dark Side Trooper. Yeah. I've definitely done that. Uh mm huh. Oh, there's so much bullshit you can do as Dark Side Trooper. So much more than just the the warrior, the Inquisitor. Because like you can do some crazy stuff as a Dark Side warrior and Inquisitor, but it feels right. You do the Dark Side as the Trooper. That's where shit gets real. Yeah. That's where you start playing. Oh my playing god! You just blew up the orphanage. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. about it? That's where you start playing Spec Ops: The Line instead of Sotor. Oh, yeah. oh god! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh god. A lot of people. That that is a hidden gem. They took it off Steam. Did, what? Uh mm huh. They took it off Steam. Yeah. Why? Because it was. Uh, I don't know. I have it to was, look into the reasons again, but I think it was. It was because... too real. Well, I mean. <laughs> If you remember the barbecue scene. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's a beautiful barbecue. I remember the scene where a patriot wiped out an insurgent that were trying to kill him. Now, you know, people say they would like the smell of uh, napalm in the morning. I prefer the smell of white phosphorus. I mean, yeah. Duh. <laughs> nah, but, uh... Why are we doing this? Realign ion wall emitters. Ion wall? Yeah, Sir, we're... this is a statue. I don't remember this. <laughs> this is how we get into the legislative building. Legislative it's building. It's been a long week. <laughs> We have to get into the legislative building. And to do so, we need, uh... We need to basically iron wall the fucking defenses. Don't worry, it's completely safe and there will be no casualties. Outside of the people we're killing here, obviously. They're all necessary casualties. Oh, 
Yeah, I always have to say. The one thing I hate about the Jedi story is how it's like, yes, please kill me. All right, if you say so, and it okay. makes you and it makes you sound like an asshole every time. It's a dark side option. Like the dude is like, I would like to die in a warrior's death. So you go to give him a warrior's death. It's like, I do this because I enjoy it. No, hold on. <laughs> oh God, I can't remember what it was, but it was like, the, there was like the little anime. I no, yeah, it was like a little animation. It was yeah. just like, the, yeah, the, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, you better run. Hope you can run faster than my gun. <laughs> exactly. What? No! no exactly. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, and then at the very end, yeah, because I don't know. I have four out of six. I think, I think we got. I think we got. Yes, I got four oh, out of six. So oh yeah, because I, that, I think we we're looking at each other's. Far. Yeah, we're looking at each other's. Because <laughs> I did the same thing to the other there one. Yep. That's six out of six for me. Now we have to go east. We just gotta go, yeah, right into there. Yep. Oh, look, there's a mugger and an ambusher here. What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> right over here. Look, they're just hiding in this crater. What the hell? <laughs> Crime! Oh, you're fine. I like how the scavenger droid just becomes a hostile I too. I told you you should have worked for me, Gabriel. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go and leave that completely unrelated and people we don't know. Those guys were definitely going to go assassinate the Supreme Chancellor. Yeah, exactly. Oh man. You know, this building seems very similar to one that, uh, you see in the warrior story. <laughs> yeah. Good as new. And now, uh, one of my, uh... Oh, yeah! Yeah, it does. Yep. Except you go right, and, like, down there instead of, uh, like, there's a doorway to the right that goes underground. Oh, he dodged that. God damn. He's a combat master. What can you say? Yeah, apparently. Ion Wall Overseer. Okay. He's in charge of the Ion Wall. Make sure no one uses them. Well, he's doing a great job at that. Well, no one used it while he was alive. See, we kept his re reputation intact by killing him. Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta make a full set. Oh, yeah, we can't leave them alive. They, then they would get reprimanded by their boss. Yes. I still love th throwing people with the force. Oh, it's fun. Not to go back to that cruiser part, but yeah, I love how like all security, like all supposed to be sec secure facilities, like, oh yeah, there's a self-destruct in place. Well, let me just hit this button uh, on the non-encrypted uh, device. It definitely doesn't have a password to stop there's the self-destruct. no password or anything. Yep. Like this one makes more sense. Uh, and the fact that we get this, yeah, there's like... there's a pretty heavy stiff resistance. Well, not only that, but, like, we're getting help from someone from Corsac. So if there, yeah. there are any back doors into the system, we would know about it, stuff like that. What the hell? Hello. Oh, he looks like a nice guy. He looks like a pleasant guy. Please, my lord. Republic sent special forces. Couldn't hold them back. Look at that mustache. You can trust him. A squad fairly half the size of your own. Pathetic. B barely half the size. Sir, you outnumbered us like 10 to 1. <laughs> Ooh. Soldiers are often more trouble than they're worth. You deserve I agree. More opponents. I agree. Thank you. Not his fault I'm good at what I do. Your only advantage <laughs> is complete. <laughs> 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 
Yes, and what? <laughs> if activated, the ion your only advantage is complete ignorance. What? Even the weapon in your hand. But your contact should have told you that the ion wall cannot be destroyed through the controls alone. I have no knowledge of this to speak of. You should pray the Republic can protect its spy better than you have. <laughs> Ow. Ow. You know what, sir? Excuse me, you're a little close to me. I don't like that. Oh, hold on. I can fix that as well. I'm gonna shoot him in the leg. <laughs> I always forget I have that ability. I have a leg shot. Don't worry, I, I hit him into the same door he threw that other guy into. <laughs> or the same <laughs> computer the other guy went to. Good thing I this computer survived. <laughs> yeah, that had a full... That guy looked like he was at least 180. Yeah. Non-lethal. The ion wall's been activated, Counselor. And it worked perfectly. The Empire's scrambling to find reinforcements. Now's your best chance. Oh, I need to know that General it disables all weapons. Wasn't that center. supposed to be a Dark Catch Council member? Inside. No, it's fine. Just killed. No, it's fine. I've been ready for this fight since I landed. It's fine. Don't get caught up in revenge. What? The Republic has what? to win what? first. Revenge? I must go. What the I hell don't... are you talking about? I'm here for for money. No more calm calls. I bet my uh, life on a Republic victory. Don't disappoint me now. Well, that's your, you know, that's your problem, not mine. Well, you're the. Weren't you the one managing the books for that bet? I mean, the house always wins. <laughs> uh, re yeah. Seriously, revenge. Why? Why do we have revenge? Like. We have no Don't investment. Do this for Why would I be doing this for revenge? We have no investment here. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I could turn around and leave right now. It would mean nothing. No, you piece of shit. Whee! I forget how you used to get that back in the day. Uh, I think I got it because I pre-ordered the collector's edition. Aha. Uh -huh. I got it when it became free. You get it from Legacy now. Yeah. I I think you got it from Legacy or from you get it from edition. I don't know where you get it from, but I know you get it from Legacy now. Yeah. All right. Oh. That was back when you know collectors editions actually gave you something. Oh. Ow. Alright, let's get going. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, great, another guy. Yep. Activate my external lightsabers. Now I have extra lightsabers. Yay! You can call me General. Oh, well, hello. You live. It was an ambush, General. Imps came through a hidden entrance, lost our CO, but the cavalry showed up just in time. You've got my thanks. The Ion Wall did plenty of damage, but the Empire's recovering fast. The Corellian Council's shortcuts aren't helping. Who would have guessed? The Empire has the Council. They have their inside knowledge. We have to find them. How? Well, what inside knowledge? How much damage can the Council do? Secret weapons. Contingency plans. There might be ten things worse than the Ion Wall inside the Legislature alone. We've gone over the schematics with Captain Cantar. Hold on. He's identified a holdout room intended Hello? to keep the Council safe in an emergency. Well, no, we know the Captain, but... The no, Council I know. I'm fucking... Oh, the I the know, room, but... Oh, there's someone from the Dark Council. Well, maybe this is what I was thinking. There should be. Darth Acheron yeah. has a loose cannon. Is Darth Hadra the same? She's much more subtle. I think there I was. Think, like, yeah, I think yeah. the guy we killed was another. Dark I think there's council three member. of them. There's yeah, that guy. We kill three Dark Council, council members in this. Yeah. But assures me, his officers will come and call. 
Green Jedi has also promised to send who they can spare. Oh? The Jedi Order that's here. How can I reach them if I'm in trouble? Our techs have rigged the legislature's comm stations to connect directly to Republic Dispatch. Hey, wait a minute. I Who's thought you were gathering the Jedi. Who the... Remember, what the hell, man? The yeah. The Empire's ace in the hole. Find them before there are any more surprises. The Green Jedi always threw me off. They're like, yeah, we're just like an independent Jedi Order that just part of the out Jedi. Of yeah, out of Corellia. We're part of the Jedi Council, but we don't do anything with them. We're separate, but equal. But some people are more equal than others. <laughs> I was making another joke there, but yeah, we can go with that one. A joke that I can't say on, or can't explain on YouTube, because that would get me in trouble. Hello! That's a weird hat you have, ma'am. We. Oh, that's electrocution. Ow! Oh. Don't worry, I stopped the heal. I didn't even want to kill you, you bitch! I liked your hat! <laughs> oh, uh, let's join the conversation. War in here. I need trained soldiers. Locating nearest Republic squad. Transmitting your location. Who's this droid? I don't know. Wait, there wasn't a ceiling? No, it's you know it's natural lighting. I I thought I just saw like an imp run by behind that guy. I feel like that looked like a mist. All right. Well, that just happened. I know they were supposed to send us. Wait a us... minute! They missed the bunch. Look at this. Yeah. Sloppy work at that. They're just, you know, securing the entrance. We have to do the real work. Look at all these master riflemen. And a master of my foot up your ass. Master Cannoneer. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice combo. Ooh, another lord. Ow. This place is a maze. I could use some local help. Contacting Captain Kentaris. Corsac is tracking you now. Wait, what? Holy shit! Wait, that was an interior door. Why were you already here? Oh they my just, god! They just shot a man in the back. Oh, that, a cop just shot an unarmed black man in the back. <laughs> well, you listen. If you saw his mustache, you know you can trust him. 
that pedophile just shot that <laughs> unarmed black man in the back. Listen, he's not a pedophile. He's just an '80s cop. Okay, you know what? That that's that's accurate. Wait a minute, we're not in the '80s. We're in the space version of the '80s. It's Grelly. It's always the '80s. You know what? Sure. Have you seen Han Solo? You know it was the '80s. <laughs> Listen, Lord oh. Grigor. Really, Grigor. dude? You couldn't have picked a better name? It's the name was born. Alternate ID sit name? Like, really? <laughs> Lord Grigor? I want you to know he's a bladesman as well. So he's doing a great job at it, but you're doing a great job at it, buddy. Wonderful job. Excellent job. Hold on. Okay. Bring in the Jedi. Sure help right now. <laughs> if only I had a Force <laughs> user here. Yeah. I could really use a good Force user right about now. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> well, they're wearing green, so they're obviously the green Jedi. What? That's how that works, right? The door just hit someone. Oh my god, Tim, are you okay? Oh my god! He shot them with a sword! Employee of the month right there, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. I have a blaster. I'm gonna charge that Jedi head face first. <laughs> yeah. Employee of the month. Yeah. Well, you know, he was a, a master armsman. He thought he could take him. And look at all these top level enemies, level 50, level 49. I mean, what can you do? Also elite. What I should do is move this off this bar. Over here. Move this here, 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 and here. Alright. Sorry, I was just fixing my scroll bar. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. It actually was. I realized that I put the uh, the guard ability right on uh, where I usually click over, so I keep accidentally toggling it off of you. Not like you need it or anything. <laughs> it's just you don't need to be defensive when everybody's dead. Exactly. My favorite way to have a tank. If everyone's dead, who do you need to defend? Was a good offense. Yeah. When you're creating the D&D &D party without a without a healer, why do you need a healer if everyone's dead? Yeah, nobody can hit me if they're already dead. <laughs> Best <laughs> the DPS logic. Oh, you seem to be doing well health-wise. Yeah, that beautiful DPS logic. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. We gotta do something back over here. Uh, the holdout room. Yeah. We're just clearing the zone. Let me make sure it's safe. Yeah, we don't want them to be attacked when they leave. I want you to know that these guys have a bunch of secret projects that I'm not even sure the military or spies in the planet know about, or the okay. police. The Republic will never break through. Save your breath, Counselor. Even your little hiding place was not immune from the Ion Wall. You've turned the Legislature into a battlefield. Is this your plan to lure the Council back to the Republic? I'm not winning this one. Let the Council go that easily? You act as if they're hostages. Is it so hard to believe they would join the Empire willingly? After seeing the damage to the Legislature, I was expecting an army. You should have come prepared. The holdout room is designed to protect and hide the council. There are no comm stations here. All transmissions are blocked. Your allies oh, okay. are out of reach. Can you face <laughs> No, they're not. They're literally in the hallway. Public? They're literally just leaning the head out the door. Hello? Really has made yeah. her choice. 
I were like, pull the Jedi out there. Refuses to accept it. I could use a Jedi. Ones. Yeah, see? When I heard you were yeah. going after the Council, I rounded up Corsac's best. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Then you've chosen your fate. Those who resist Imperial rule will die by my hands. Never got that haircut in this game. I've never actually seen anybody carry that hairstyle. Yep. It's not a good one. Eat! She definitely lived. There's only three of you? What the hell? I think I found the council's problem. <laughs> what do you mean? A triumvirate? Those have never gone badly in history. That's not a council. That's a, yeah. Well, counselors, looks like it's just you and your angry constituency now. Acting Corsac Command can arrest heads of state with the Republic's approval. I want all of them. Counselor Balos, too. But I spied on the Empire. I lied to a Sith Lord. I risked my life to help the Republic. You were the first to suggest we join the Empire, Velos. How many credits were you offered to change your mind? How many credits were you offered to keep it? We joined the Empire only to save Corellia. The Empire has resources and proven strength. We were planning for the future. Horse uh -huh. crap. How'd that go for it? Kings at Corellia's yeah. expense. They all deserve to be punished. I'll leave this one to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Counselor Balos got us here. He's more than made up for it. I don't know if I'll ever make up for it, but I won't let a chance to try go to waste. Thank you. You know, he's actually the one ranking officer here. He could have told us just to go I fuck ourselves. Yeah. Did for us, but you just let a traitor go free. General Aves will want a status update. Give us a minute to restore communication. Yes, because, you know. Can you hear us, General? Coming through fine, Captain. Without the Corellian Council's advice, the Empire's falling back on old tactics. They're not working. Once the legislature falls, the Empire will be vulnerable. I've got several squads ready to push them off Corellia. But they'll need a signal. Uh, a couple squads. Come in the speaker's <laughs> courtyard. Your signal will hit every comm station on Corellia. If you can reach it. be honest, it was a tough decision to hit whether to free Badlos or not. <laughs> Just tell me where to go. The Speaker's Courtyard is being protected by Darth Decimus, the last of the Dark Council members Hold on. Corellia. He convinced the Corellian Council to join the Empire. He won't let Corellia go I'm easily. Sorry, what? You won't have any backup here. That's a... What? On the nose name. The Green Jedi are defending their enclave, and my men are in position. It's not me. <laughs> Don't think I can get much lower than that. Darth Decimus won't expect an ambush. He'll be prepared for one. Don't let his men distract you. Once you've defeated Darth Decimus, contact me on the broadcast comm. I'll be waiting for your signal. This is it. One Sith Lord between us and freedom. Corellia's counting on you. His name is Darth Decimus. Interesting. Interesting boy. You never meet him ever. Who? Exactly. Who? Exactly. Uh, what? I don't understand. I'm very confused. Well, you know, you gotta prepare for this fight, so there's only one way to prepare. You think you're a sniper? I'll show you a freaking sniper. Get the fuck over here. I really want to. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, don't even, don't even get. What the hell is that aggressor doing? <laughs> the man's got ball. <laughs> and uh, I feel like that's not a real lightsaber. He's just got like a stick that he has glowing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Also, look across the courtyard. There's an Imperial Guard Master. That's the first time we've ever seen an Imperial Guard member. <laughs> exactly. 
Oh yeah, it doesn't hurt. He doesn't actually have a lightsaber. It's just a red stick. The wiffle ball bat. <laughs> yeah. There's also another Imperial Guard Master to our left that we just couldn't see. Really? Oh yeah! Yeet! What's he carrying? Does he at least have the Electro Staff? No. Oh yeah, he also has a gun. Wait, what? He's a ranged boy, but when you go into melee, he switches to a melee weapon. See, now that, that's, uh, that's how I feel like a lot of enemies should be. Like, even if they pull out like a knife or something, they should be able to Just switch. pulls out a prison shank. God, did you leg shot that guy? The dude was moving like. F <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably a good thing to clear up this region. Yes. Alright, go talk to him. Alright. You don't think I will? I'll do it. <laughs> An elite squad. Yeah, Ah, oh, I'm sad. Perhaps the Republic has some strategy after all. No. I watched your progress across Corellia. The speaker's courtyard you, you has didn't been do anything about all. From this historic stage, I'll declare Corellia an official member of the Empire. I feel like you've your already done that. Your cannot sully that. The Corellian Council's been arrested. You lost your support. Oh, bullshit! We tied! So I've heard. But I won't allow their brave sacrifice to go to waste. When the Empire evaded, the Council provided coordinates. Coronet City's docks were emptied. Those who resisted were killed. The fleet moved into the shipyards. Imperial troops spread to Capitol Square. Truly a glorious sight. I don't have to listen to this load of garbage. One of your founders abandoned you. How much longer until Coruscant follows? Balmora, Ord Mantell. Soon the entire galaxy will realize your weakness. The Empire needs Wait, no was Balmora actually one of the founding the planets? Only time. No, but neither was Nord Mantell. I think he was just saying it in general. He's saying, like, one of your founding plans is gone. What about the rest of them? The Empire? We'll have to get through the Jedi first. With pleasure. I'm sad. You don't get the mercenary only opening. <laughs> All my plans undone by what? A single mercenary. I didn't like him. Where did he go? Straight. Oh. I sent him over the edge. All right. Let me. Oh, I was about to eat him further. <laughs> I set them off the edge. <laughs> yeah. I was about to eat him even further, but he died beforehand. Pity. <laughs> I sniped his ass. <laughs> Darth Decimus is defeated, General. Tell your men the legislature is ours. No need to. Broadcast Kong just sang it across Corellia. It's up to our reserves to push the Empire out completely. But we're already seeing major retreats. Corellia is free. We're getting ready to declare a formal victory to the Senate. Head to the press room when you're ready. Head to the press what? room. <laughs> we gotta head to the west wing. Oh no. Oh, I want, I want some ice cream, man. <laughs> on, who the hell, what the hell are you people doing back here? How, uh, oh, there's a lot of people here. Like, you what know, the they could have helped. Could have used a little bit of assistance. What the hell? How did you oh already... God, look at... How did they already... How did the general already get here? <laughs> What the hell is this shit? General, what the fuck? <laughs> Supreme Chancellor Suresh. Senators. Wait, when did she become Supreme Chancellor? Hold on. Legislature. And the Empire's on their last legs. It's all clean up from here. Who are you people in the audience? <laughs> What's I happening? Am I, am I on draw? Did, did I accidentally <laughs> take one of your stems? What the hell's happened? <laughs> Yeah. One squad stood above the rest. We owe our victory 
Also, when did when did Suresh become Supreme Chancellor? I don't, I didn't vote for her. She's the governor of Paris. What the yes. hell? Yeah, I didn't vote for her. I didn't vote for her either. Thanks for a fight like that. The Senate understands the risk you took. You'll be rewarded handsomely. Uh -huh. The Corellian Council's decision to join the Empire must be addressed. Councillor Baylos will answer for them. I know you can see. This is a very small the Senate chamber. But before yeah. the Senate condemns us, I'd like a chance to explain. No. The Corellian Council doubted the Republic's chances of defeating the Empire. They chose to join them rather than be conquered. Some of my fellow councillors still believe this was the right choice. I believe it brought ruin to Corellia and war to the Republic. A few years in jail might change their minds. My colleagues may never regret their decision. For that, I pity them. I've done what I can to help the Republic win. With the Senate's permission, I'll spend the rest of my term restoring Corellia. Do you expect the Senate to believe that? You gave Corellia to the Empire once. You might do it again. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, no. No, sir. Councillor Baylos deserves a pardon, but he can't be trusted. I've served Corellia for decades. Yeah, and look where it's gotten us. I suppose yeah. my freedom was the best I could hope for. Yeah, no shit. Oh, oh, you, you fucking betrayed the Republic. The, take advantage of you, the fact that you're not in prison, you planets. should be grateful. No warning before they turned. How many more worlds might be on the brink? You brought Corellia back to the Republic. You have the Senate's attention. How can we prevent other worlds from joining the Empire? <laughs> you're the politician. <laughs> Corellia might look bad now. Damn it! The Empire's destruction <laughs> undone. This isn't our first victory, and it won't be our last. We will have peace. The Republic won't stop fighting until the I Empire surrenders. I had an option surrenders. of loosen up a little. Neither will I. <laughs> Inspiring words. The Senate will support your efforts. Was that your... What Before option you was that one? We that was like the middle one. Properly. Uh. There's no medal or what was yours? Equals what you've accomplished. Remind them uh, of the cost. First class blood stripes. Corellia's highest. Yeah, loosen honor. up a little. Awarded to those who keep fighting despite the odds. First class blood stripe. That's the hell. That's a hell of a name for a medal. Yeah. Thank you, Captain. I'd be proud to fight with Corsac again. We'd be proud to have you. You'd be proud to fight with the police again. Days are nearly over. You yeah, it's better Korea to have the police in front of me than behind. In motion that may end this war. You deserve Spoken like a true commissar. Our victory today sends a message. The Republic may falter, but we will never fall. As long as we keep... <laughs> Senators, yeah, you're your right, the Republic definitely will Stand never fall. These never. Of the Republic. No, that, that'll, that'll never happen. Ever. No. Why am I in full armor doing this? Yeah. You know, we got the ladies do run in friggin' bodyguard stance. <laughs> well. Damn, I was hoping for enough time to do the final mission. But I don't know if we'll have. Yeah, ah. let's. Hmm. I mean, let's see. I still have to run to my ship on Corellia. We go to your ship hangar on Corellia. So well, I still do that have... at least. Well, I still have to do. Uh... Oh, go! What the hell? <laughs> the enemies respond. <laughs> Hold on, the Corsac got this. What the hell is that bullshit? I have to go uptown. I got something for uh, the final part of mutually assured destruction. Okay. Up oh, I see it. Yeah, we'll go. I'll head over that way. She's been living in uptown. And then I gotta go to the space port. Oh, I got one of the fun medals. Thanks. I know she doesn't like it, but I was like, eh. I didn't want it in my inventory. I'm going to talk to a very important vendor right now. Mm-hmm. 
your dealer. No, oh, that's such an uncouth word. My doctor. Your, dr your drug peddler. He's my doctor. Your pill pusher. <laughs> listen, what? Listen, he's just a nice guy. His name's Doctor Hope. Person you ignored because you don't want to talk to the farm boy. <laughs> Get over there. <laughs> so just that caught me off guard for some reason. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Not only did you save millions of lives, but you and your strike team seized an Imperial battle cruiser. What are you doing up there? Doesn't sound any less incredible when I say it out loud. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Jedi, you were after. <laughs> oh, oh, sir, who are you? <laughs> Master Braga was beyond redemption. I had to kill him. A lot of people will sleep better knowing he's gone. Why are you still staring at the empty ooze? It's a General. really cool My scouts thing. They've never seen such a decisive It's victory. really cool. We've got the Empire running. <laughs> Their command and control network is in shambles. These Jedi troops performed brilliantly. I'm recommending this brave Jedi army for the Republic's top military honor. You've all earned it. The Jedi Order is grateful for the recognition. I know you can't stay, but Corellia needs the rest of us. This battle isn't over by a long shot. I promise I'll take good care of your people here. May the Force be with you. What do you got to do? Uh, use my ship's holo terminal. All right, I gotta go. I just gotta go to the hangar. So that means something's probably gonna happen in the hangar. So we can at least probably do that and then call it a day. Yeah. I could probably just get the final hollow terminal message, then the codex, and then do that. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how long the uh, final part takes, because yours is done. My boy yeah, has that. My, mine, is, mine is pretty much done. I think it's like literally this last little bit in the hangar. Yeah, D depending on how much we've got left, uh, we'll do, uh, we might start Ilium. We'll oh, see. Did we want to do Ilium? We'll, we'll see. I mean, the Ilium is the only fun one, because it's different depending on what side you're on until the end. Oh, that's true. But we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. If it takes a long time, we'll go. And probably end it there if it takes, like, more than 30 minutes. Yeah. Then we'll decide uh, if we're doing Illum or not. Drum and cuss, uh, if with two people, it might take more than 30. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, let's see. Who the hell are these? Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 don't ignore these guys. These guys are crazy. <laughs> you just stand back there. Don't stand back there with the Wookiee. Okay. Ignore that guy. That that guy has an imperial symbol on his on his shoulder pad. Don't mind the fact there's a bunch of Republic people just walking around too. Which one's got the imperial symbol patched on? Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> I just like this. I like that after all of this, I could just kill him right now. I could just shoot him right now. You know the best part is I actually can't see any of this. So Dios. I wonder if you do shoot him, do they drop? Yeah. I'll go back to mine. Since I can't see it. I was hoping I could. I think you get put in charge of Port Nowhere, don't you? Yeah. Put in charge of Port Nowhere, and you can choose who runs Port Nowhere for you. And then in the new DLC, they completely ignore the fact that you own Port Nowhere when you go working here. Yeah. Really fucking it up. I mean, it, to be fair, it has been like 10 years since you've been in charge of that place. <laughs> yeah, 10 to 15 years. <laughs> five of which people thought you were dead. Yeah, five of which you were, uh... Indisposed, let's say. But we'll find that when we do the Imperial playthrough. Because mm -hmm. that's always the most fun one. Mm -hmm. 
We're not biased. I want to go buy a planet. I mean, considering how much real estate you already own. I like how when you casually leave, you see the uh, Corellian Corvette being built. Hmm. We run up. Back, if you right, and that's it for me. Re travel to Republic for My Crystal Ball. Is yep. Republic forces have gained the upper hand, and Master Braga is no longer aiding the enemy. The Emperor's domination of Master Braga was too strong. I had to kill him. A terrible loss. I'm sure you did your best. Yeah, I didn't also try. The Emperor is on Drum and Kass. His efforts against us have weakened him. Our enemy is vulnerable. For now, the Emperor is determined to destroy the galaxy. It's him or us. You must face the Emperor again. And this time you cannot fail. I'm stronger than the last time we met. Drummond Kass is the Imperial capital. Legions of Sith call it home. The remaining population is almost entirely Imperial military. We're invading a planet of people who want us dead. We'll have to fight for every centimeter of ground. We won't even be able to land on Drum and Kaz unless the enemy is too distracted to notice. We must surprise the Empire by doing what they least expect. A frontal assault on their homeworld. Jedi and Republic warships will converge on Drum and Kaz and will engage the Imperial fleet. We will mount your assault on the surface. Master Satil, that's a suicide mission. If you defeat the Emperor, whatever sacrifices are required will not be in vain. I will help you navigate the planet's defense network and land safely. After that, no promises. Your success or failure will not merely decide the galaxy's fate. It will change everything. Forever. What I'll do is I'll land back on Corellia. And stop him once and for all. May the force be with you. Because I don't think you can normally get onto Drum and <laughs> Ooh, Scourge has something to say. I now understand why your council tries to control your pleasure as well as your anger. Pleasure is a far more powerful motivator. Oh, why do you say that? What makes pleasure more dangerous than other emotions? Pleasure is the foundation of all desires. There is nothing that inspires so much anger as thwarted longing. I still remember the feel of sunlight on my skin. The scent of favorite foods. The color of my first love's eyes. To experience those simple pleasures again would be worth anything. See, you haven't lost your humanity after all. Do not mock me. I understand why your council controls you. What I'll never comprehend is why you let them. I got to hear Scourge's favorite line, or my favorite line from mm. Scourge, the the one about the uh, first love's eyes. Yep, I, that is, what is it, Doo Doo Films, he does a good thing with that. Yeah. That quote, that, what is it, that video, um. It's one of the two, uh, it's a two-parter. You are what you made us, and masters of nothing, I think that it is. I'd have to look it up. It's been a while. But I will say, uh, what I'll do is I'll stay on. Corre I'll get back down on Corellia so you can get on the ship so we can take you to the Drum and Koss for next time. But since it is the end, now there is. There it is. One final bit to read at the end, the fall of Tol Braga. Once a respected member of the Jedi Council and its most fervent advocate for peace, Master Tol Braga now willing, willingly serves the Sith Emperor. His conf confrontation with the, that foe showed him the nature of true evil and revealed the powerful force he has uh, grossly underestimated. Master Braga's failure to redeem the Emperor broke his spirit. With his pride and faith shattered, he succumbed, succumbed to nihilistic despair. 
Unlike Warren Sadao and Li Ha Nariz, Master Braga did not require the Emperor's oppressive domination to remain obedient. He knowingly surrendered to the power of the dark side, believing it was his punishment for allowing pride to blind him to the Sith's true nature. And with that, we begin the endgame, Doomsday, in Invading the Roman Kass. See you next time. We'll be signing off for now.